As Suicide Prevention Week has come to an end, many of us move on to the next monthly topic and therefore move away from the emotional energy required to keep this conversation going. So now we ask, what's next? What I need each of you to understand is this. Suicide is a real and serious threat to our coworkers, our friends, and our loved ones. This is especially true for those that work in the construction industry. While three workers in this industry die each day from workplace fatalities, 10 to 12 construction workers are committing suicide today. You should also know that suicide is the second leading cause of death for ages 34 and under. In fact, most suicides occur between the ages of 20 and 50. Listen, the first, first thing we need to get comfortable with is using the word suicide and talking about it more than just one week a year or when the unthinkable hits close to home. Yes, this is a very tough subject to talk about, but according to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline Group, being comfortable to talk about suicide and asking someone if they're contemplating suicide is one of the healthiest things you can do for a coworker or a loved one. It's an emotionally disarming tool to allow yourself to talk about real emotions and real thoughts. And the ones struggling with these very real, anxious, or depressed emotions will often appreciate the honesty and genuine concern. So number one, Get used to talking about suicide in a healthy and encouraging way. One of the reasons male-dominated industries like construction sees many more suicides is because these topics have been taboo for so long. For decades, it was viewed as weakness for men to admit any type of emotional struggle. We saw men coming back from World War II and Vietnam with deep emotional scars that never left, and yet they were expected to be, quote, be men and figure out how to piece together their shattered view on life with absolutely no help. And what we've all been fooled to believe is that these men were able to figure it out. I can assure you, though many men like this showed unbelievable strength and tried their best to keep the deep hurt a secret, their brokenness and burden still bled out in front of their families and close friends in often unhealthy ways, whether they wanted it to or not. So my point in this little rant we all know these men needed help. The 10 to 12 men in construction that are committing suicide right now as you watch this video need help. And one of the best things your organization can do is to simply talk about it. Be willing to post resources at work. Be willing to ask your quiet and burdened coworker how they're doing today and be ready to listen. Be willing to just listen without trying to fix them. For you HR managers and safety professionals, be committed to focusing on the health portion of the safety and health title you wear each day. Be willing to connect those needing help with the professionals that can help. No one should have to feel as though it's their burden to fix someone. In fact, it's imperative you get them help outside of yourself. So listen, the workplace can be one of the most important battlegrounds in the mental wars that are waging against those with anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts. Find ways that you can be a gatekeeper within your organization to lead those hurting coworkers to the care they need. And let me also just stop right now and say that if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts, regardless of what you feel to be true in your life right now, there are people in your life waiting to be a part of your life that love you, waiting to love you. They care for you and waiting to care for you. And they value you and are waiting to value you. Regardless of where you've been or what you've done, you are worth every ounce of effort to help you get the assistance you need to experience the joys of this life. And I'd also ask that you choose to stay. Stay with us one more day, one more week, one more year. Choose to stay beside us so as we take on this life together, standing side by side in whatever challenges we may face together. I just ask that you choose to stay. And you coworkers that see a need to be a gatekeeper for those hurting, choose to help. I'll see you in the next one.